I think what's been fantastic for, for me today is um, I had a perception that the event was going to be a, a, lo uh, a lot about the 3D printing and some of the new exciting technologies which are coming around, but uh, I was excited by the fact that we had a more holistic conversation around product and process and, and how we as architects can change the way that we make the buildings of the future. I think lots of industries are trying to come to terms just now with uh, with their own IP kind of uh, rights that they've known for many, many decades. And, and, uh, and I'm beginning to see the benefits of how open source can encourage even larger companies to innovate uh, at scale uh, by sharing uh, Kind of, if you like, scripts and coding uh, across an industry. Some fascinating ideas coming from about off the shelf housing and even a suggestion that uh, people could be buying houses on Amazon for goodness sake. Yeah. Well, how do you think this is going to feed into housing? Uh, well, I think housing is very complex, and, and it's complex in terms of the demand, it's complex in terms of the way that we design things, it's complex in the terms of uh, what the consumers want is not necessarily what we're designing. Uh, but I, I think we are slowly realising the benefits of, uh, of scaling up design for manufacturing and assembly and, and for modular construction. So uh, for me, what's going to transform uh, housing is actually being able to deliver uh, more off-site kind of ways of making buildings. I don't think we actually understand enough about the psychology of people loving the historical built environment that they live in over the benefits of modern types of housing. Uh, and I, I, don't, I don't actually think there's enough research that's been done into why the psychology of that actually is. And I'm sure there's lots of people that love visiting uh, modern museums, like the, we were talking about the Pompidou Centre in Paris and so on. So, so I think as architects, we, I, I guess what we haven't really done is really understood not necessarily about the interiors of the building, because I think the interiors of, of the buildings that we design as residences is, is, is taken as a given, uh, uh, i.e. whether that's cellular or open plan type uh, uh, residence or apartments that we design or houses that we design, but the, the outside of the buildings, I mean that's still a massive kind of argument about modern design versus kind of traditional des d design. So. Uh, not, not quite sure what we do about that, but I think we should do a lot more about the psychology of how buildings appear and why modern design is actually uh, a very positive way forward.